Oh, yo, what is going on, guys? It is the DFS Shark back with some NBA playoffs. We got a three game slate today, so I'm going to go ahead and focus on NBA today. Uh, moving forward, it will actually just be NBA the rest of the playoffs, unless there's a day where there's like maybe one or two games. But we're going to be focusing on NBA. I'm still going to be dropping MLB lineups in the Discord um, for the premium members. And we've been hitting on MLB, and we'll run through some of those lineups real quick. But as always, guys, if y'all watch these videos, y'all like these breakdowns, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be alerted as soon as these breakdown videos drop. I'm dropping prize picks videos like this every single morning, usually between like 8 to 9 to 10, sometime in that range. So hit that notification bell so you can be alerted as soon as they drop. But if you want these plays even sooner, join the Discord. The link's going to be in the description. The link, I'll drop it in the comments as well. It's free to join. That's where I'm just kind of randomly sending out free plays throughout the day. Sometimes when discounts drop and other things as well. But let's go over yesterday's free play, the plays that we went over in the video. So we hit on our double, man. We hit on Kyrie Irving. Um, Zubak absolutely crushed that line. I think he hit it in the second quarter or maybe as soon as the third quarter started. I'm not sure. Um, Kyrie Irving actually made us sweat this out a little. He got that nine at around the fourth quarter, like five minutes left. He ended up getting more after that, but we cashed there. Um, and the way I run these lineups is I run that two man double and then I throw up the five man play. So unfortunately the five man collapsed on us, right? Gafford, I don't know what was going on. He only, he got in foul trouble, only played like three minutes in the first quarter and then he got hurt and then he just, yeah, he didn't do nothing. Neymar and Middleton just couldn't come through first. Usually when I'm able to hit the first two, I cash out there. And then at minimum, I'm usually able to hit one more to at least, you know, if we're taking a loss, we're at least getting some of that back on prospects. But uh, it didn't work there. But this is my strategy for maximizing and really hitting those 10 X's more often. But all in all, um, these slips combined as one unit for me. And so we were profitable on this slip. But if you guys are looking to get started on prize picks, drop in this promo code here. If you're looking to get on chalkboard drop in this promo code here both of them will match you up to 100 percent match deposit bonus and then if you're in the discord shoot me a message i'm gonna set you up in the premium for 30 days after that speaking of the premium let's slide over here to the free play section right this is where i post the plays every single day as you can see yesterday's lineup we posted in there i'm posting some five man slips in there as well i'm um, checking out some of the premium wins we hit another 10x yesterday on underdog in the nba right we cast this bad boy here and if you see here, I put it somewhere in here. But we over the last 10 days now in the premium, we've hit three 10Xs, a 7X, and we've hit multiple doubles along the way. Because every time we hit a 10X, we're hitting a double also, right? We had some MLB, like I said. Y'all don't sleep on MLB. There's a lot of value every day. We just missed the 10X here yesterday. Uh, but we ended up hitting that double as well. If you want to learn more about the premium, go to join premium here. And this will take you to my site. Or just go to the DFSshark.com. This is where you can learn more about it. Some of the testimonials and everything going on here and some of the wins we've gotten but let's dive into these plays for today all right let's hit this refresh button um i have it just selected by today's games so let's see what we got here we got a couple of steals lines we got an over and an under here so some interesting lines co anthony they got them steals under and turnovers over so an interesting one to look at though is reeves they got him over 13 and a half points you see all the odds makers like him going over in this game I like this play as well. I'm on a Reeves line on underdog I threw in the Discord. I believe it might be points and assists or points and rebounds. I'm not sure, um, but I'm liking the Reeves over tonight. But if you're looking for a site that can throw you together some five or six man plays or give you the top two plays every single day, just the click of a button, check out Daily Grind. Drop in that code sharp for 25% off your first month. They're going to hook you up. Let's dive into these plays. Let's see what we got going on today. So just keep in mind, if you haven't made a play today, you got this joke special. I've already used it, but you get up to $25 there. So throw this in the lineup to boost that payout and get a free win. First play I'm looking at is we're going Mitchell Robinson here. So the play I'm liking is points and rebounds over 12 and a half. Hopefully it's still here. The line is still here. So looking at the slate here, three games today. So, you know, the lowest total of the day, we got the Magic and the Cavs here. You got the Sixers and the Knicks, and then you got a high total here on the Lakers and the Nuggets. So I'm taking some overs in this game here, but I also have some overs that I'm throwing in this game. My top two plays are from the Sixers and Knicks game. So let's slide over to Robinson here. This points and rebounds line, I am liking from him. Over 12 and a half, I just feel like we're getting really good value at this line here. Um, over his last five, he's only hit this 40% of the time, but you can see his minutes here, right? Take a look at his minutes. Um, 
they were easing him back in. He came back towards the end of this season, so they're kind of just working him back, not giving him full minutes here. But what I like to see last game was, um, last game against the Sixers, they bumped him up to about 30 minutes, which is solid um, for him. So moving forward, you know, obviously he's got Embiid on him, so he's going to have to stay out of foul trouble. He's going to have to deal with Embiid, which is not easy to deal with. I feel like with this line so low, with Robinson possibly getting 30 plus minutes for us we're in a really good spot here um he's like seven foot tall and what we need for him is to just grab us some boards you can see his last two games versus six or so this was last game right he ended up getting 12 rebounds and eight points game before that i'm not sure if Embiid played this game this is going all the way back to 2022 but he did have 16 rebounds and 10 points so you can see the upside with him right? and what's interesting if you dive really dive into his numbers here let's say in games where he's played 30 plus minutes which is what we're expecting. Hopefully we can get 30 plus out of him today. For the year, he's played in 13 games at 30 plus, and you can see he's hit this line 85% of the time, averaging 18 points and rebounds. So when he's got in 30 plus minutes all year in 13 games, he's averaged 18. So he's went six points above what this line is set at. So you can see the major value we're getting here at this line. Um, hopefully everything plays out. If he ends up playing less than 30 minutes, there's a chance he might not hit this. If, but even if he plays in that, you know, that 24 to 30 range, I think we should be able to hit this line. That's what we're going to be rolling with. If we're looking at the injuries here, Embiid is a game time decision. So, I mean, it would only help us if Embiid doesn't play. We got M Melton out. We got Covington out. Um, for the Knicks, obviously Randall's still out. No major injuries besides that. Uh, but Mitchell Robinson is who we're rolling with. Let's slide over to Rotowire and take a look at what they have on points and rebounds. So if you add this up, you got about 15, like 15.6 or 15.8. Um, so they got him way above this line as well. So you can see the value we're getting on Mitchell Robinson. We got this one locked in. That's our first play. And the next play I'm liking here is going to be Maxi. So I'm liking Maxi to be involved heavy in this game, shooting some three pointers. And that's the line we're going with. We're going over. 2.5 three-pointers made so let's dive into max here let's dive into the stats over his last five he's hit this line 60 percent of the time last 10 60 percent last 20 65 head-to-head -head 71 and for the year 61 so every trend it shows he, he's consistent on this line right he's going to consistently shoot the ball he's going to consistently make this make at least three three-pointers a game so let's go to his head-to-head -head. last game game one he ended up in three three-pointers here. Played 43 minutes. So this is what you're going to expect from Max here. He's going to give you 38, 37 plus minutes every game of these playoffs. Because most of these games are going to be a tight game. Most times, I would say, plus four and a half spread here. If you just go to his season, right? Let's just see what he did for the season. So he attempted about eight three-pointers a game. Made about three of those a game at about 37%. So he's a solid shooter. He's going to work on that pick and roll all game with Embiid. So hopefully we can catch some three-pointers there. But I'm liking Maxi throwing up some shots and making some shots tonight. Hopefully, you know, within his first five shots, he can make, you know, a couple of those. That would be ideal for us. Um, and if we go to Rotowire, we can see what the projections have. They got him at about 3.1, 8.4 attempts, and at about 36%. So they got him going over this line here as well. Robinson and Maxi. And another play I'm sort of correlating this play with on this Maxi here. Is going to be Lowry. Um, I feel like we're getting really good value on this Lowry line at 10 and a half points and assist as well. He is going to play heavy minutes as well. In game one, he played 35 plus minutes, I believe. So if he's on the court that long, Lowry, he's going to have plenty of opportunities, especially to get his assist. You know, he could end up getting a six to seven assist here and maybe getting us four points um, to hit this line. So you can see here, he, he was down here the whole time, but his minutes jumped up a ton last game. And you can see for that, he ended up going off for 20. With those increased minutes now, I'm liking Lowry to go over this and to also hopefully a couple of these assists can come from Maxi hitting some three pointers. The next play we're going to be going is OG. We're going under 15 and a half points and assist on OG. Um, let's see if we can find this line. Here we go, right here. So we're going under here, man. You can see he's consistently gone under this line here as well. He went under the first game as well. And then for my last play, um, Porter Jr., I would have liked to got this line at six and a half, but I'm kind of rolling the dice here um, and getting it at seven. If, if worst case scenario, we get a push. Um, but if you go look back at his 
games versus the Lakers, just going back to his last 10, right? Um, he said that eight out of 10 games and the two games he didn't hit were both pushes at seven. So he's shown consistently with his history against the Lakers. He can, he can go in and grab some rebounds and not just against the Lakers, right? He's, he's done this all season. You know, he's gotten six plus, seven plus rebounds a game pretty consistently as well. Um, so he's surprisingly a really good rebounder, Michael Porter Jr. So we're going to be going on the over here on Porter Jr. So those are going to be the five plays that I'm rolling with. Remember, guys, if y'all want to get started on prize picks, drop in this promo code here. They're going to hook you up with 100% match deposit bonus, the same thing as on Chalkboard as well. Remember, the goal of this channel is to give you insights, give you confidence in these plays, and give you a deep analysis on every single play. Because all we're trying to do is beat the books here every single day, whether that's prize picks, underdog, sleeper, Chalkboard. It don't matter. The goal is to beat the books every single day with solid, consistent plays backed by, you know, odds, backed by stats, trends, injuries, whatever factor, whatever edge we can find. That's what we're going to be rolling with. Um, but that's going to be it for this one. Guys, like I said, if you're looking to join the premium, go to the DFSshark.com. Go check it out. Y'all have a great rest of the day. Take care.